Hey there, Andrea McKenzie from the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries here. I'm excited to introduce to you Anthony Dunn, who's going to tell you a little bit about a walkover way system in your backyard, if your backyard is in southwest Queensland, that is. Grazing Futures is looking to answer some questions for Western graziers using this technology. So here's a bit from Anthony about what he hopes we'll learn. My name's Anthony Dunn and I'm the manager of Echo Hills uh, Farming Company um, and we run Echo Hills Cattle Partnership here at Echo Hills. Uh, we uh, background cattle uh, for heavy, the heavy feeder market. Uh, we run a, a approximately 1,200 to 1,500 head here. So the opportunity with the walkover weighing unit is the opportunity to have more real-time weight performance on our cattle and get more accurate with our predicted date of the target weight. Then we can talk to the people we're marketing our cattle to and we can basically give them more of an accurate time that we can deliver cattle and then through that, yeah, we can be able to seize the actual rate at that time. So if we see a prediction that the rates are going to fall, we know exactly how many cattle we've got and we can lock them in on that price rather than having to actually go and mustering a paddock and put that cattle through that. We know that information we have on hand. Being uh, the size that we're, we are, I'm really looking forward to seeing and nutting out the figures, uh, how much we can save. And, and it's about saving weight on cattle as well as labour costs. So I'm really looking forward to the data that comes out of this to see uh, what we can achieve. So initially we're planning to compare how this real-time data impacts on the decisions made at Echo Hills. The next year we'd like to trial supplement comparisons, which is much easier using the walkover way as we can eliminate the paddock effect when trying to compare groups. We're also keen to look at how stock from different vendors perform right through the process. So keep an eye out for updates by following Queensland Agriculture on Facebook or head to the Future Beef website. And get in touch if you've got any ideas about what we could be testing.